Well, a very spooky greetings to you all, Rimrims, and welcome to Red Haired Anne's Blood Feast, or in this case, Red Haired Anne's Animal Museum, featuring all your favorite horrendous animals like Priscilla and Evil Lynn and Buffy. Sweet, sweet, monstrous Buffy. Now, I think Anne has had enough of living around all of these filthy, unwashed masses. She's been sharing a castle with slave and ghoul alike for far too long, so today, we build the city, and we kick them out. On the subject of building the city, weirdly, two people both separately suggested the idea of building a hedge maze, and two people also suggested building a coliseum as well. So I think I want to start making a list of stuff I actually want to build in this city that's still nicely thematic. But we do have the Dead Conserve mod that lets you turn corpses into fine art displays to maybe put in a lovely little garden for Anne. And I'm hoping that soon as well. Oh, hello. A firekeeper named Gamelin. Hello, Gamelin. Are you any good? Uh, claustrophobic, polyamorous, misandrous, feeble, cold inclined, big boned. You can stay there. Now, like I was saying, I'm hoping soon as well, we'll get some of the vampire specific events spawning in. And hopefully some ancient ruins will appear in the world map where we can go out to and try and capture another vampire, either to recruit or potentially upgrade Anne with. So with the vampires, the lower your generation is, the stronger you are. Anne is seventh generation vampire. So if we can find out there in the world a first through sixth generation vampire and can try and eat their soul and become more powerful. And I hate to say it, but judging by some of the Discord fan art I've seen of Anne, I'd like Anne eat my soul at this point. <laughs> and speaking of things we've got to build, we've got another drone data hack. That would take us three out of five on our relic info. So I guess we could also start planning out a cathedral. I want it nice and convenient to the actual main castle. I guess we'll put the ghouls on this side. So if we build the cathedral over here, now that I think about it though, we have the blood also, right? Yeah, we do. 25 steel ingots and 50 blood. That would allow us to turn blood, regular old human blood into bricks to build out of. We could build Anne a full on blood cathedral. And I know we've sort of done that before, but this seems, <laughs> what, a, what a weird sentence. Yeah, sorry everybody. I know I've built a cathedral out of blood before, but we're gonna do that tired old idea again. At least in this series, it makes sense. She's a vampire rather than just fat Larry is bored. Hmm. Hmm. Certainly looks like a cathedral. Yeah. Yeah, smells like a cathedral too. Oh, and the Lampire has gained another level in vampirism. Surely she must be level 30. Oh, she's level 44. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, uh, just do one of those. And uh, I think she's good. There's anything we can do with the excess levels, though. I love the fact that she's also got 27.1 social. Oh, no, the taxes from her empire. They've dropped right down to half of what they were yesterday. Coagulation. Now, somebody said we can bribe them with the special actions menu. The only reason I haven't been doing it is because, honestly, I'm not sure what type of balance we should go for. Like, sure, we can send them 6,600 silver, but in the long term, how long is that going to take to pay itself off? Can we not just build them some drugs? A brewer. Hey, that'll do. Yeah, there you go. And I think, to be perfectly honest, I'd rather sink the cash into just upgrading the level. So I've got coagulation upgrading again. And if their loyalty comes into question again, I will send in Priscilla. What a lovely dog. Oh, hello there. Hello. Welcome to Anne's town. Oh, God. I think we're fine. I think they're not bothered about Anne just building the walls. It's just an enemy caravan. I didn't really want to get into a fight with that if we can avoid it. There's 18 of them. 18 of them. They've got crossbows and anime level swords. This isn't anime, though, just to reiterate. Oh, come on. Melee attacking marble wall. It's supposed to be a frigging trade caravan. Caravan. More like caravan. What is bloodlust and ceasefire? Oh, once per week ability. Grand Soul Colonist on the same map with Bloodlust, a 66% pain reduction for six hours. Whoa. And we've also got Ceasefire. Forces all opposing forces to flee the map once per week. Weird. I guess that's a, an ability for hitting level 30. I mean, we don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna, just gonna kill them all. <laughs> oh, they don't seem very interested in fighting though. Hello? You, you guys good? You know what? I'm just going to set Anne to search and destroy, and I'm going like, to have a nice afternoon. Are any of them any good? Because our current slaves are getting uh, a little bit old. Animals 8. Animals 8 crafting 11. Okay, I could fuck with that. Intellectual 13. Wow, that's pretty good as well. Cooking 11. Honestly, like these three I could grab no problem. Not really interested in you. And I'm not really interested in you. Okay, so you can go. Thank you. And you can go as well. <laughs> it's so good. I don't know why only sometimes it goes on cooldown. 
It's very, very weird. It does make Anne like disturbingly strong. But to say that everybody else is fighting with blocks of wood, bones, and horns, I think we're all right. I think we're absolutely fine where we are for the time being. Okay, obelisks are good for the new cathedral. I can deal with that. And then at long last, basic furniture. Holy crap, that couldn't have come any sooner. Is a simple bed comfortable enough for Anne Green? <laughs> no. No, it, no, it's not. We're, we're nowhere near. Oh, riding gear? Riding gear for who, though? Because judging by some of that Anne Green fan art, no. Stop it. There can't be a new Arcadius. I refuse to allow it to happen. I do love bees. We're going to take some bees. The bees have to worry about temperature. And not to mention there's no plants on this planet, which might be a slightly larger concern for bees. That's probably a bad research to pick in hindsight. I just can't for the life of me figure out why my bees keep dying in this perfect environment. What is that? Oh, no. Don't tell Anne. <laughs> Never mind. I don't think there'll be any left by the time these freaking reindeer are done with it. Maybe we should get Anne to go and grab that quick. Hey, hey, run, 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 run. Don't beat the caribou. I just want the wine. There's no space for the wine. Oh, blood wine. Oh, look at that. High blood or blood suitable for regal vampires. Collected from an inebriated pawn. One blood point. Wow. Oh, we need to set up a blood farm, don't we? And you have to specifically harvest that from inebriated people. So deep in Anne's castle, we could have a room filled with nutrient paste dispensers, slave beds where maybe they don't have any legs and we keep them constantly drunk and take their blood that sounds like it could work and hang on we've already got the building blocks for that because we've got mushroom fermenting barrels which makes mushroom wine it's actually all coming together soon and green gets to live a life of decadence and luxury sipping on mushroom blood i don't know if that's how that works oh no learn how to keep bees to produce honey from nearby plants well let's hope we can make mushroom honey well, wow, that sounds disgusting. Basic autopsy, so when the slaves die, we can actually do something with them besides just burying them. I think that's probably not a terrible idea. Uh, really? Yeah, but like, really though? <laughs> uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Oh my god, what a dodge. I can't even be mad. If we mesmerize, will that stop her? Absolutely not. Oh god, okay. And be careful. Try and take her alive if possible. What if we, what if we feed? Maybe try and knock her down with blood loss rather than full-on violence. What a horrifying image. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> She's the one with the bone. And don't kill her. Okay. Bleeding out in five hours. What limb did you rip off then? A nose. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. Now I'm going to have to teach you a lesson as well. Give me your ear. Please tell me that tree sowing unlocks more mushrooms. Oh, I can't see any. Damn it. Food condiments? Ah, uh, tasty mushroom snack. I joke about that, but I'm pretty sure royal sauce does do that, right? Yep, made from stewing the fronds of royal bracket. That is so good. We are going to have to grow some royal bracket, however. Um, I guess we could throw some down in here. Sure, why not? This one looks more or less like it's ready to be harvested anyway. Oh! Oh, you can't grow royal bracket in a planter. It isn't a big deal. We can use plowed soil from medieval overhaul to just replace all the planters anyway. We've only allotted it recently, otherwise I'd have just done that rather than building planters in the first place. Oh no, look at the moods too. What's wrong with you? Bad omen. Drugs are present. Boy, bad omen minus 10. Caused by belief in the blood pack because superstition is strong. Damn it. That must be a side effect of the HP Lovecraft storyteller sending the bloody cats over to us. Also sad because she hasn't had an execution recently and we don't have any furniture. I can't do anything about that. No young people minus five. <laughs> you got boomer colony. What, what, the, what am I going to do here? They're all too old to have kids now, right? Oh, we were too slow with this first generation on slaves on setting up the bases and getting everything prepared. But when we got private little tents that they'll be more happy to, you know, enjoy life with, then we'll have the pitter patter of tiny child slaves running around the colony, filling the air with crying and well, more crying. Do we have any way to produce art? Because they're very upset right now that we can't make the tenets of blood for the ritual area. But no, I don't think we can. Crafting spot? We've already got one of those. Well, I guess just cope. Just cope, basically. Can't you all just be more like Lusk and I? He's having an incredible time. Well, actually, no. He's having a terrible time, which is why he's content. I think content probably more than happy. Mushroom sauce for our mushroom meals. Delicious. Okay. Now, that right there is a grand slave rebellion. I can't argue with that one. Five slaves versus two ghouls and a vampire. And don't forget, Buffy is, or at least 
was blind. Oh, dear. She might have some useful side powers. But she hasn't got any side focus. Okay, this, this could be a little bit bloody because we're just going to have to beat them with horns. Or ride a behemoth. That would also do the trick. Okay, squad, you know what? Just search and destroy. And let's try and put down who we can. Okay, remember, sleep, not suicide. Sit, kid. And then, oh, it's on cooldown already. Okay, uh, be so careful. Oh, God. Okay, nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Where is JT? Don't think you can hide in the bathroom, JT. I may even go as far to get them to swap over to regular old fist just to be as cautious as possible here okay let those two go after lusk and i you rescue everybody else bloody fast because i have a feeling they're gonna bleed out are you okay you're just immediately right back up huh don't kill him don't kill him oh don't kill him have we got another good doctor uh no we do not <laughs> jc jc jt bleeding out in three hours Aragon awesome bleeding out in five Truzzy is Truzzy is fine von helsing took an absolute beating though as well Oh, damn it. I, I could make sure all the slaves aren't armed in the future. The problem with that, though, is that if we have another raid like we had before where Amma's traveling and a raid turns up, we're probably doomed. I don't want to be juggling five slaves trying to get them equipped with whatever horns I can find on the floor when we've got raiders turning up already. Well, let's get Von Helsing to use Vampiric Healing. Very expensive, don't forget. Oh, no, it's too much. Well, I mean, that's fine. She's not going to die. I mean, it almost fully healed her. And we can just top up the Vitae anyway, right? doesn't really matter too much. Come on now. We all know what happens when you try and rebel. Who's got an ear left? You've got both your ears, Lusk and I. Wow. Oh, we can't even take JT, JT, JT's ears because they're already damaged. Well, in that case, give me a leg. I can't take a leg either. This is hilarious. <laughs> what, what can I take? Give me, a, give me a finger. Give me an arm? A hand? Hey, there we go. Uh, I'll take your left hand. And then we're going to take Aragon Awesome's only remaining ear. And Trussy, you've got... One ear spare as well. It's a shame this doesn't really do anything besides highlight Anne's brutality, but maybe that's fine. Seems on brand. JT! What the hell happened to JT? Malnutrition? How the freaking hell did you die to malnutrition? Let me be abundantly clear, though. I, I am very sad that JT is gone. JT was our first recruit. JT was the person who was proselytizing all of the people. JT was the person who defected to us from the Empire, the deserter. JT was also frail and old. And had no hearing, nor a hand, or toes, or... I mean, they weren't very good, let me be honest with you. They were also 77. I mean, they had to die eventually, right? <laughs> of all the ways to die, though, malnutrition is pretty poor. Uh, should we give them a funeral or sarcophagus? Absolutely not. You can have the honor of being the first person buried in this mass grave, though. Goodbye, JT. And the worst part is we can't even take the part as an autopsy table because he needs bloody steel. 120 steel, in fact. Good lord. Do you know how many latrines I'd have to take apart to fund that? I'm a little bit concerned. Unless we get an empire raid soon, we're going to run out of people before the end of today. I mean, I could send Anne to go and knock on the front door of the empire, sleep someone, and then escape while we're carrying them. That seems pretty damn dangerous. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Ask and you shall receive. Who the hell are these guys? Donaldson and Feral? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, go to sleep. And then go to sleep. Otherwise, Evil Lynn will absolutely devour you. Hey, new people. <laughs> easy come, easy go, I guess. We'll take a look, see if they're actually any good before I bother even trying to recruit them. We need to also be very, very careful and make sure that we're getting people converted to the cattle idea legend. Otherwise, if the last of our first generation of slaves dies without passing on that knowledge, it's going to be very, very hard to get that back again. Malvina Donaldson is oh, 11 artistic. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you're pretty good though. Finn Farrell, I'll take you. And you are both, both 45. Yikes. A group of delicious bison. What have you got for me? Oh, mushroom wine, medicine. We've got an Iron Ching heavy helmet. Okay, uh, I will take all of those. Thank you. What about this final one? B Bison wall beret. <laughs> I love the idea that he's just wearing a regular wall beret, but it's a beret made for bison. You can take possession of pack animals and just ride them away. Oh, that's incredible. Instead of Anne being a frighteningly possessive highborn vampire, she could just be a cattle wrangler. A little bit of rootin' tootin' vampire shooting. Now everybody's breaking down again. What's wrong with you this time? My organ harvested times two. You only have yourself to blame. 
That wasn't my fault. I'm locking you two in. Don't come out until you've got me Dark Devil Strand. Even if we do get new slaves, they're all going to die to hypothermia because we can't make any frigging clothes. Well, I suppose I could shear Priscilla. Lovely Hydra fur underpants. What's happening there? Uh, Gleam Cap? Got a stinky wall. Why are you so stinky, stinky wall? Oh, I don't want your friggin' fish. Give me the riding gear. At least we've actually got use for that one. Okay, well, fantastic news. We're almost through the tribal era. Not so much good news. Where the hell is Dark Devil Strand? <laughs> this count as medieval. Oh, it does count as medieval. Alongside clown tactics, which is coincidentally how I run this channel. Well, hey, I mean, angry and actually getting back to the medieval era, having built up from absolutely nothing seems pretty good. Buffy is no longer binging on alcohol. Oh, God. <laughs> I really should stop bringing it back to the colony, huh? Buffy, you are embarrassing Anne right now. You're supposed to be head ghoul. Poor little Trotty, what's happened? He's got the plague? What the hell am I going to do against the plague? We're not even medieval yet. The real question is, do we want to turn any of the surviving slaves into ghouls before they get so old that it's not really worth it? I really want a good researcher. And Aragon is a very, very good researcher. 13 intellectual right now, single passion. He is also quite a good character with regards to him being desensitized and an optimist. And he's also got good medical too. I don't know how many ghouls though is too many to have for Anne. Because she's going to have to spend so long just giving them Vitae all day that it, it would really cut into her being able to do anything at all. Before we begin moving over to the new cathedral, I thought we probably should get Buffy's re-re-re-re-re-re-blinding out of the way. Sorry, Buffy. <laughs> One day you'll be free. But it's not today. This is probably also going to be terrible given that we've only got four attendees. Oh, you know what? I'm actually quite surprised. It's almost done. We're almost ready. But better still, we're almost free of the bloody tribal era. Swords and armor and fancy seats. No more thinking stools. We can have a full-on thinking throne. They're here. The Exodus Imperium at long last. I thought you'd given up. Oh, they've sent a child. How insulting. Imperial Saber. Wow, look at that. Mini turret gun? That doesn't seem very on brand, but there we are. They've sent almost kind of their, their medieval forces by the looks of it. I'm not even sure I know what they're wearing right now. Iron footman armor. Steel footman helmet. Varangian axe. Wow, that's cool. And you know what? I'm genuinely surprised. I thought given that this is a, a, a an almost medieval siege that they wouldn't send anything, but they are sending artillery. What happens if we possess the person manning the artillery? Oh, not now. <laughs> You shits. I will take no prisoners. We can't afford it. They're going to shell my base. How long has it taken to build this friggin' dump? Trussy. Stand down, Trussy. Nice. Good hit. Oh, okay. I'm going to go for thrombo horns then. It's a bit of a gamble, but it'll if it'll take him down immediately and put an end to this so we can go and deal with the Empire. You know what? I'm going to send Anne out there to go deal with the Empire straight away, I think. Von Helsing is too busy vomiting. Buffy, nice work. Get lost, can I? Uh, Von Helsing. Help us out here. Lost can I? Don't let me do it. Sick kid. Come on. Just surrender. My god, she's making a break for it. Hey. Sleep. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, slave revolt has ended. Uh, let's get you guys capturing them and patching them up straight away then. And then we'll leave. And to single-handedly deal with the Empire. Oh, that sounds risky. Are they well armed? We've got two swords, an axe, a mini turret gun, and an LMG. If we take out the one with the LMG, I think Anne can take him at that point. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Boom. Oh, I've altered the deal. Prior, do not alter it further. Oh, he's taking his gear off because we're... <laughs> we don't have the research to use it. Okay, in that case, die. And then, uh, uh, what can we do now? P uh, possess, possess you. Possession didn't go on cooldown. I'll take it. That's a, that's, a, that's a free possession. Come over here. Hey, club that child. Go and hit him with an axe. Anne doesn't need to get her hands dirty. You can just possess someone's mind and force them to chop up a child on her behalf. Trezzy's blooming out in 10. Aragon Awesome is absolutely fine. And can I blooming out in 7 seconds? Oh, shit. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. can I. Solid Snake himself. My god, we've got to get some slave suppressing clothing soon. Well, now that our current slaves are okay, or, you know, dead, <laughs> I'll go back and see if we can grab this child before they expire. Run, Anne. 15 hours. You know what? Just, just drop them here. Let's tend them. Oh, 
Hello. We're being attacked by those guys right there. They're attacking Ansylvania. Isn't Ansylvania pretty damn powerful, though? Military level of... Oh, it's only military level three. Damn it. Okay, let's see if we can... Yeah, let's get you another upgrade. We can't upgrade it while it's under attack. Well, that makes sense. So, like I was saying, I'm going to tend you. And then if you get up, we can just hit them with the sleep. And then we won't have to worry about it. Are they good? Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good. Bring them home. If we can recruit child soldiers, that means we've got them for the longest time. And then we stand the most chance of actually being able to uh, start our slave breeding program. No problem. Poor sweet Luskanai. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's your fault. You did rebel. I'll miss you, Luskanai. Into the mass grave with you. And maybe this was a little bit ambitious immediately after that happening. But the sooner we get it done, the sooner we can get this damn relic out the way. Aragon is 79. 15 intellectual. I think I'm gonna ghoul him. I'm sure Anne's got enough Vite for the rest of the class. As long as we keep enough slaves around to act as blood bag, she can keep topping herself back up. That does mean, though, he is entitled to go free. And it is another person we have to worry about. The food, furniture, comforts. But now we've only got, you know, two slaves remaining to deal with that. Aragon not included. I think we'll probably be able to pull it off. And I kind of like the idea of keeping a ghoul per generation. So the ghoul that we're keeping per our tribal generation is Aragon. Then we go through the medieval era, make another ghoul when we finally finish that one out. And then same for industrial and spacer and arco. And here they come. Caveza packed on the back of a fucking deer again. You guys know you can rape without deer, right? That's not mandatory. Uh, we've got to do it. You know, we've got to do it. Kapow. And then you get out of here and then you fall asleep. And then uh, you can die now. Incredible work. <laughs> that might be one of my favorite new jank mechanics we found. That is so good. Oh. Okay, another blood moon. I'll be honest, I don't entirely know the implications of it still, but let's try not to worry about it too much. God, it's so hard to see. <gasps> is that it? Trozzy finished it off while we were over here. We're medieval now, and we've immediately kicked things off with complex furniture. What an incredible day to be Anne Green. That is not a child. <laughs> uh, that's a grown-ass man. How old are you? 16? Those have been a tough 16 years, huh? <laughs> it's hard life out here on the room world. Nice work, Aragon. There we go. That leaves us with only two quests to go. One of them is active right now in an ancient complex nearby. Oh, and I didn't mention it. These... Sorry? It's been too long since we slaughtered a large animal. <laughs> I was about to say these are refugees looking for... Shelter. But to be honest, I don't feel so bad about doing this now. How dare you try and slaughter a large animal? Priscilla could have heard that. Don't you let me down, Buffy. This is the first time we're using this bloody cathedral. You better make it count. Oh, I love that they've all put the helmets on that we stole from their caravan, too. Come on. Hey, there we go. Down to 70%. You know, I should really spend some of Buffy's points as well, because we could have Buffy also... Oh. Ghouls can't learn above level two. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, they'd be equally as powerful as the vampire. All right, well, fair enough. There you go. So if we can send little Anne and not so little Priscilla and finish this ancient complex super, super fast, we're getting ourselves a relic today. Also, what the hell is even that? It's a rox. A gigantic, graceful creature of unknown origin. The rox is gents by nature, but extremely dangerous when enraged. A rox would make a fine addition to Anne's petting zoo. We'll have to come back to the forest one day and see what we can find. Hello? <laughs> this is the stupidest complex I've ever done. Oh boy, I hope those terminals are fireproof. Oh yeah, we're fine. It's a little bit toasty in there, but apparently Anne doesn't give a shit. Oh, I thought that was our bloody base for a second. Because if that was the case, we'd have been we'd have been dead. We'd have lost everything. <laughs> it's Anne versus Anna. Oh, watch out for Priscilla. You will never get this. Oh my god, she is. She is very much getting this. Okay, sod this. Kill it. Kill, kill them dead. Acid breath, Priscilla. Priscilla, acid breath. Priscilla. Oh my god, Anne's almost dead. Fuck. Okay. Well, stop pissing around. We can't wait for Priscilla. Priscilla, you useless friggin' dog. You almost got Anne Stripe killed in a single volley. What is wrong with you? Don't gently hum that song at Priscilla. Acid breath. Yeah, no, don't worry, Priscilla. It was, it was just a suggestion. No. Oh, come on now. Oh, just stand down. Please. 
I've only got one cast of sleep and I don't want to waste it too early on. I'm going to sleep, Aragon. We've already ghouled him. I, I've got to hang on to him more than anybody else. Trozzy. Sick kid. How are you doing? Bleeding out in three hours. Bleeding out in 23 hours. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You lost an eye. Oh, you lost everything. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> you know I won't take anything from you. I think the punishment has been served. He's not going to be able to tend her fast enough. Oh, no, she's dead. Aragon, you dick. He's got 11 medical and he wasn't able to tend her fast enough. I wonder if she became dehydrated and that sped up her death. I'm not entirely sure what caused that at all. She definitely had two hours remaining. Well, Trozzy is alive. Man, that's so tragic. Come on, let's get you buried. I would not afford this honor to many slaves, but I will allow you to be buried next to Lusk and I. Maybe that's crueler, in a way. <laughs> what a mess. Anne is going to be pissed. And now that she's home and has an ample blood supply, let's also get some healing going. I don't want her to trip over and die. Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? Just here for a quick sippy. Don't worry. Well, in fact, we're probably going to take more than one sippy, to be honest with you. In fact, a significant amount of sippage is happening right now. The Question is, did we manage to convert anybody? Aragon could do it, but of course we want to convert him over to the blood packs and Truzzy is just terrible. These guys are pretty recent though. We got halfway there. 40%. What are you down to? 66? 86? Your cattle! Okay, oh man, we're saved. I'd say saved in the very, very short term, given that you've got 0 0.07 social, for fuck's sake. I'm 99% sure the proselytize mod isn't working to absolutely no one's surprise. Something broken in this mod pack? <laughs> <sighs> Stayed up till 5am last night trying to fix this, and I... Just why? Just why, why did I bother? And uh, what have you got on your head there, fella? Oh, she's wearing the bison beret. Ed! Ed has been enslaved by Anne. A good cook to replace the one that we lost. That is incredible. And now we can also reform our idea religion as well. We can add a whole new meme. Oh. I'll be honest, I have put no thought into future memes at all. These were the only two I was really thinking of focusing on. Okay. Well, comment section, if you have any suggestions, here's a way to influence the game like never before. I'll put it down to whatever's the most upvoted. Sure. I, I mean, I have no good suggestions. Darkness would make perfect sense, and it would make everybody hyper happy. Tunnelers for building a bit more of a mountain base for Anne especially. That would be very, very good. Human primacy makes a lot of sense. Female supremacy, given that Anne is female, and the first two ghouls were as well. Raider. You can actually get out there and capture some more people. Entirely down to you guys. Let's see what you come up with. And the final thing to do today is to get a couple of ghoul houses built as soon as possible. That was always the plan today was to get the city off the ground. Moving into the medieval era and also being able to reform the idea of religion again was pretty massive. I would have loved to have got the relic too, but I don't think it's going to spawn in in time. So while we slowly get enough marble up together to build these final few houses, I think it's time that we crack on with complex furniture or cider. Now, okay, obviously we'll go for complex furniture. And then I can say happily... We've done it. No more primitive tribal era. We're into full-on medieval vampire town now, and I couldn't be happier because there is so, so much more content in the medieval era than the tribal era. Holy shit. All you have to do is take a peek at the research tree and realize how little there actually was in the tribal era this time around intentionally. I didn't want to do another tribal era playthrough, but now we can really make a castle for Anne. Something that I think we'll be proud of. And now all we need for the slave area to kick them out of the main castle proper is either steel for the scrap shelter or any type of leather for the army tents. And then over here, we can build massive inside barns, use the torches as heating, and then have them work there and ship all the stuff over to a bigger storage zone. I suppose we could build a big old storage building here. And we're only one quest away from the relic as well. Today's actually been so good for progress. I mean, sure, we didn't tame any other massive horrifying semi-mythical creatures but we do have a really really staggeringly dirty cathedral and isn't that what we all want at the end of the day <laughs> tomorrow we can build uniforms and weapons and have an all-out war i'm also going to swap out the storyteller i've given hp lovecraft i think long enough at this point but i think he's just a little bit too much on the easy side for my liking we could put it up to merciless but even then it would just be the occasional large raid which with anna i don't think is so much of an issue i think we could, I'm almost, I almost hate to say this, we could go for the scariest thing any Rimworld Halloween series could have. Igor Invader, 
I'm not sure. I'll put it. Uh, I'll put a poll in the comments or something. I don't know. I'm gonna start a jet, but don't forget to also leave suggestions for the meme for reforging our blood pact. Thank you all for watching. It has been. Uh, it has been an honor and a pleasure to finally not be in the fucking tribal era anymore. Thank you to the executive producer patrons. The list grows ever longer, far too long. We have to find a new way to do it very, very soon. In the meantime, a big thank you goes out to. N Nelly Lil. I hope I've said that right. El Zilcho, Texas Yardbird, Fairy Woods, Poseidon C and German Hammer, Juicy Jason, Pandemic, El Scorchio, 82, Sweetie, Skaz, Willie Williamson, Rage Dragon, Mr. Moosh, Black Onyx, Oliver, and Asana Kurato for their support at the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you all for your support. I thank you as well to Sir Chills. Ch Ch Ha 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 ha. We all make mistakes. A thank you as well to Shatulski, Lilac, Skunkalope, Callum James 3, Revan, Luke Jordan, Arrogant Awesome, Ari098, Sharp, Noxim Montellus, Vegan Slayer, Hyota123, Easy Mac, Oz, The Wizard of, Lego Red Dragon, My Sweaty Rim Rim, and Mayor as well.